Alright, what's up everybody? It's your boy Jin here, and in this quick tutorial we're going to be showing you how to farm the Essence of Primal Fear um, map. I think that's all it's called, it's just Essence of Primal Fear, yeah. Well anyways, so this is a lunar run, this is going to be a Neo Deity run. Uh, you can see first I'm picking Genesis, Blink, then Hauntry Queen, and then primal fear uh, this mat only drops from primal fear it's got like a two percent drop rate uh, a lot of people I, I've heard a lot of people say that they sometimes done a hundred runs and still wasn't able to get it uh, but I actually got pretty fortunate with this one so uh, I just recorded a whole bunch of runs and this one actually came with a uh, success all right so you see that I did teleport so I started those three bosses you need was the God's Breath and Neo Deity Scrolls. And then once you get teleported, you go through that portal, come back out, and then you talk to the Genesiac Blink NPC. You should say the, the, the teleport for Genesiac Blink. All right, that's the first boss here. So uh, basically the reason why I'm doing these types of run is you don't have to kill all these mobs. So I'm just trying to run through them right now. You do have to kill the tombstones, one on each side. There's a left tombstone and a right tombstone. Here we go, here's your left one, uh, Memoir Coup. And so I stealth it there and I froze the little guy. And when he comes out of it, I'm just gonna try to kill him. Uh, for Dust Blades, they don't have too many magic skills or skills that do magic damage, so that one skill that I have, uh, I set it and then while it's on cooldown, I'll have my archer kill the other one. Archers, fortunately, have both physical and magic attacks so I killed the right tombstone with no problemo and then we're going to speed out of that area and then watch I'm gonna get a good little trick here is you speed out and then stealth and so he's gonna lose all those mobs there and I tried using that skill again um, dragon trap that was and it didn't wasn't enough to kill him so I hit him with the lunar grace took off the weapon so I'd have five APS and there you have it easy way to kill magic things even if you're not a magic class uh, there are a couple classes that don't have magic attacks I do believe BMs maybe and maybe that's it Barb has one but it's not that great either oh but they also have uh, wood attacks okay so when you kill the two bosses one is the main boss he's got uh, 2.8 or God, this is going so fast. This, <laughs> the main boss has millions of hit points, while the other boss controls whether or not that teleport, that the first teleport that you went to here, is still there. So once that second boss that you kill will disappears, the teleporter will disappear. Hmm. Trying to keep up with this run while talking. <laughs> not that easy. All right, so we gotta kill the second boss. You do have to kill this one fast uh, because he will buff himself, and then he becomes a lot harder to kill. Here's the NPC to get back out into the uh, entrance. So I'm gonna stealth the dust blade in a second, just so I can lose the mobs and teleport. Cause they won't let you teleport if you've got aggro. So essentially, you see, I did not even have to kill one mob in the first part. It saves a lot of time. We go second boss is Hauntry Queen and when you get over here you will be greeted by a bunch of friends friends not so friends and there we go stealth to get rid of all one of them just refuses to disappear I don't but he's because he's because he saw my dust blade not the archer all right so make quick work of him and then here we go. The, the first one will have 400,000 hit points, and then the second one will be in the millions. Alright, so that one's down. Second boss coming up. Don't know why I decided to pick all the mats on this run. <laughs> you 
guys are, you guys are gonna have to put up with that. All right, so here we have the boss is dead. Let's get out of here. You always want to talk to the Ching person. Oh, full inventory. What a noob. Is this his first time in here? Maybe. All right, let's go back to the start. gonna head off to the third and final boss to see some techniques on how to kill him uh, it took me a couple times to try I tried it with three tunes that was a pain in the butt uh, these two combination was the best one that I came up with and you'll see why you can do it with any other combinations you want as long as um, I would say you just have to do a lot of damage really fast. All right, so I'm targeting the big hit points one. That's a 3.6 mil, and this the other boss is going to be the teleport boss, teleport NPC boss. So you can see he's only got the 400,000 hit points. So my archer stands on ground while attacking him. Makes pretty easy work out of him. Quick buff up. I don't even have nation war buffs on either one of them. Oh, so, you can tell this is not uh, practice runs. All right, so I sparked on both of them. Dust blade goes in, starts the debuff process. Here's some more debuffs from the archer, and then here's your final debuffs with the big attack. And look how much that hit points dropped. Um, but there you have it. Primal boss dead. And look what we have there in the water. Zoom in a little bit. There you go. Primal Fear. Essence of Primal Fear. The well, on this server, 30 QB or 30 um, reg, regular gold worth. That's current prices. It might change after people see this video. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna jump up. Start the second one. I'm just gonna finish the second boss too because I don't like leaving things unfinished plus hey, it's an extra basic badge ain't nothing wrong with an extra basic badge two of them now actually we both well we all know on this server you need a crap load of basic badges all right doing our debuffs and that's two point something million hit points down the drain Oh, naked guy. What the heck was that? <laughs> he went into dragon form so I wouldn't see his tidy whities anymore. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. It's not that hard. Uh, I mean, you do have to have some really good, strong DDs. Uh, both of these are really good. They're both 105 times 3. Um, full Meridian passives and a lot of the types not all but a lot. all right I hope you guys liked it please click like subscribe share and I'll see you guys back in game peace